Today, we're going to do an install video of the Mushkan Enhanced 40 gigabyte solid state drive. We're going to install it into my media center. We're going to install Windows. I'm going to show you the entire installation process, and then once installed, I'm going to show you how fast the solid state drive actually runs launching applications. This particular SSD has reads and write speeds upwards of 250 to 270 megabytes per second. Let's get started. Okay, when I said I'll be showing the installation process, I didn't mean putting the drive in the computer. That's just like any other SATA drive. Plug the cable in, plug the power in, turn it on. I was going to show you the process of updating the firmware, but upon researching it, the drive came pre-shipped with the newest firmware. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and install Windows 7 and show you the installation process. I won't show you it copying the files onto the hard drive. That, no matter how fast the drive is, will be bottlenecked we bottleneck by the DVD drive. So, once that finishes, I'll show you the rest of the process. But, as you can see, during the regular process, um, it detects the drive just fine as 37 gigabytes. Let's go ahead and select it. We'll just do Drive Options, New, Apply, Yes. So, we'll go ahead and install, install it on Disk 0, Partition 2. Next. Okay, at this point I'm going to go ahead and pause the video because this is really boring to watch. Once it finishes, I'll continue the video back up. Thanks. Okay, it's just about done copying files, and while it finishes, I'll tell you a little bit about the machine that the solid state drive is currently installed in. It's a Core 2 Duo, 3 GHz, with 4 GB of DDR2 RAM. I think the graphics card is a GeForce uh, 7950 GTX or GT, I think. And so yeah, it works pretty good. The CPU usually gets a 5.0 rating in Windows. Um, usually the lowest score, or the lowest common denominator in Windows. So the overall um, performance score is usually 5.0. So here we go, it's finishing up. 100%. That was pretty zippy. Okay, got the disc removed. For some reason, and don't ask me why, this computer has always had the Vista boot screen on 7. I don't understand it. It makes no sense. Maybe it detects it hooks, it's hooked into a big screen TV via the, I don't know why it does that. It's always done that. Which is kind of confusing because I've never seen it before. Right now it's installing the drivers for Windows 7. So once this gets done and we do our first boot, I'm going to go ahead and start downloading all the updates for Windows 7. And then I'll show you the installation process and how fast it goes. I'm not really a person into too much of a uh, benchmarks. I kind of prefer to see on the video how fast does stuff move. How fast do the installs update? How fast does Windows install? And um, you find very few videos about that. so. We'll add uh, this video to the stash. And I apologize about the crooked video. This tripod, for some reason, never does stand straight, so... I think it naturally just goes up.
Okay, let me go ahead and fill this in and I'll be right back. Okay, we're gonna continue on. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do for this video is turn off arrow. I hate videos that have arrow. It makes everything look a lot pokier than it needs to be. I'm going to turn off every single animation and every single kind of fade. It's a pet peeve of mine watching YouTube videos. So now when we click computer, it just pops up. Meet a player. Well, it already installed three updates. That was quick. Recommended settings. Holy crap. That was quick. Internet Explorer. So one thing we should do right now is go ahead and turn off System Restore. And it will turn off um, sounds, because I hate sounds. Let's see, no sounds. For kicks, um, let's go in here underneath performance too, and we'll turn off the page file. I'm going to go ahead and um, put in my other hard drive and move the page file to that so it will have a page file on a um, SATA <clears throat> regular drive. Let's go ahead and reboot. Okay, that's it for now. I'm going to go ahead and start the download process of all the updates. When it begins to install, I'll start up again.